And in 2023, the World Health Organization declared antibiotic resistance one of the top global health threats and estimated that it is responsible for 1.27 million global deaths in 2019 and, co- and contributed to almost 5 million deaths. That was 2019. I can tell you uh, that the figures have risen dramatically since then. So that's what people think. And just on a personal basis, you know, you go and you need an operation and you know that that's going to involve exposure to hospital infections, which is one of the most serious of them, the ones in the average hospital. You know, uh, there's some of the most lethal ones there. Um, Increasingly, that is going to be a risk that you get something that you can't treat. You're not saying don't take antibiotics. No, I'm saying take them carefully. Use them when you need them and not otherwise. And I'm again, it's not me saying this. Is most responsible doctors would wish that their patients wouldn't keep asking for them. Mm. So there's sort of three things that I've I've been able to ascertain as risks of misuse or overuse or inappropriate use of antibiotics, which is the impact on the gut microbiome. Um, the, you're contributing to the rise in antibiotic resistance and... Those are the main things. I guess even with the diseases you get, you'll be slower to heal because you're less if you've got that resistance. That is one of the things that we do see, particularly those who are long-term ill, you know, that they lose some of the healing capacity. And that's so much of the work I do is to aim to put some of that right. And there's links to colorectal cancers? Yeah. Well, that's it, because we're talking about the microbiome, you see. 